for this eye look. This is a kind of get ready with me full face tutorial. Everything except for my brows. But I've been seeing a lot of people doing like the spotlight halo eye lately in um, on Instagram and YouTube and so I really wanted to try out the spotlight or the halo look. I'm not familiar with what that is. It's when the inner corner of your eye is dark and the outer corner of your eye is dark and you just kind of like spotlight or like it gives a halo effect over like a usually a lighter color or a shimmery color in the center of your lid. So I did that today. I used all Makeup Geek shadows, so this is going to be a very affordable, easy to recreate look. And I really like the way it turned out. I'm not used to having it so dark on this inner corner. Usually, if you guys watch my videos, I kind of either keep it light all over the lid or I go from light to dark and I don't ever really do it super dark on this inner corner. So it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I really like the way that it turned out. I think it's one of those looks that you like sort of have to wear fun lashes with. Otherwise your lashes just kind of get lost in the look, but I really like the way it turned out. Again, super easy, affordable Makeup Geek shadows. And I'm also trying out a new foundation today. This is the Makeup Forever Face and Body. I've never tried this, I just ordered it off Sephora. Um, I'm in the shade 20 and it seemed to be a really good match. So first time wearing that and so far I really, really like it. So yeah, if you wanna see how I created this eye look, then just stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start off by priming our eyes. I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is one of my all time favorites. Next, we're moving into some Makeup Geek shadows. This is the color Beaches and Cream and just a blending brush. And I'm blending this from the outer corner to the inner corner and really diffusing it all over the crease, a little bit on the upper lid, and then going in with this gorgeous color called Tuscan Sun and a little bit more of a defined, denser brush. We're concentrating this on the crease area, starting at the outer corner, bringing it in to the inner corner. And I'm not doing it completely like rainbow on my eye. I'm kind of bringing it towards the bridge of my nose. And you'll see with another color, I'll bring that in a little bit farther. But windshield wiper and small little circles, I'm really getting that color concentrated into the crease and then kind of flicking it out on that outer corner of my eye. Next, we're gonna move in with this other amazing, beautiful color called Tiki Hut. This is kind of like a dirty, brownie, yellow color. It's got a lot of yellowy green undertones in it. And again, concentrating that right into the crease, starting in the outer corner with the most pigment and blending that in. And as you'll see, I'll start to bring it down into the corner of my eye versus bringing it towards the bridge of my nose and kind of going from the outer corner to the inner corner with that color and bringing it on down. Next, going in with this color and a pencil brush. This is Wild West, also from Makeup Geek. And we're gonna start at that inner corner, just lightly putting the color in and blending it up towards the crease. And I'm going to be making a halo effect. So I'm basically going to be taking this from the inner corner to the outer corner, but leaving the center of the lid nice and bright with no product. A pencil brush works great for this because you can get it right in that inner corner as well as the crease and kind of keep the color right where you would like it. And now we're going in with another brush. This is from Makeup Geek. I will link it down below. I'm just patting the same color on the outer corner. It's a little bit easier because the brush was a bit bigger, but it's still a nice, dense, defined brush. And just using windshield wiper motions to get that into the crease. And we're gonna blend that out with a little bit more of Tuscan Sun in our blending brush, just because we don't want any really harsh lines and we're wanting to kind of have it fade from the crease on up. So I'm blending that out. The key here is blending. You're gonna do a lot of it. Next, going in with this beautiful Makeup Geek pigment in Afterglow, it's one of my favorites. I did use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to kind of give it that vibrancy. This would also look beautiful if you have the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Pressed Shimmering Skin Perfector. Uh, if you use that wet as well, it would look absolutely stunning on the lid. So I'm just applying that to the center of the lid and then going back in with the brush we used in our crease and I'm just blending around the edges to soften it up and just let it blend a little bit better rather than having this harsh line just kind of going back and forth with the color Wild West and a little bit bigger of a fluffy brush. This is a super easy look. 
And then I'm gonna go and just kind of blend along the edges again, using a little bit of Wild West and a little bit of Tiki Hut. And going in with my favorite brush, this is a angled shader brush from Sigma and a little bit of Vanilla Bean mixed with White Lies, just to kind of brighten up that brow bone area and blend any of the colors that went a little bit too high. Next, going in with this Makeup Geek Shadow in Americano, I'm just deepening up that inner corner and the outer corner a little bit with that same pencil brush. And again, just making sure to keep everything nice and blended. And again, just add less product and you will be good. Add more as you need it. This is the Sephora Beautifier Shimmering Primer. It's amazing, very similar to the Becca Backlight Primer. And the Face and Body by Makeup Forever. I tried using this IT Cosmetics brush, which I usually really love their brushes. It was not working very well with this foundation. It just was really sheer. So then I went in with my Artiste brush. I love this, this is the Oval 8. It is worth the hype, I have to admit. It's one of my favorite foundation brushes. It just applies your foundation so easily and so quickly. So I'm just finishing up with my face using my Artiste brush because this thing gets the job done real quick. Absolutely love it, definitely worth the splurge. Next, I'm trying out the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Light. I have to admit, I really like it. It gives a beautiful luminosity to the under eye area. It's got great pigmentation, blended really easily and beautifully under the eyes. And yeah, I'm definitely a fan. I've only used it this once, but so far, so good. Really, really love this concealer. And going back in with my pencil brush, deepening it up with a little bit of Americano. Now that I have my concealer on, I'm just kind of making any little adjustments that I see to the makeup and just blending everything out a little bit more. As I go on with my makeup, sometimes I see like a little bit of a spot that needs to be blended a little bit better. So I thought I would put those clips in there so you can see that. Now I'm setting this with my NYX Banana Powder. I love this stuff, you guys. It's drugstore, I think it's $9.99. It is a fantastic setting powder. I absolutely adore it. And we're gonna go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus, and I'm just setting the rest of my face because I am gonna go in with some powder bronzer and stuff, and it just makes it easier when my face is nice and powdered down so everything blends well. This is another IT Cosmetics brush, absolutely adore it. And this is the MAC matte bronze i love this bronzer so much it seriously is my favorite i have not been doing a whole lot of chiseling contouring but more of this like overall bronze look and i absolutely love the way it looks and i love this big fluffy dense it cosmetics brush too it's so soft but it blends so beautifully and i'm just a huge fan of the combination of these two products together and we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl. This is their new True Blend blush. This is in the medium. If I keep looking to the side, it's because I've been obsessed with Orange is the New Black. So basically, I haven't had a life since that came out. And uh, I have one episode left of season four. Pretty sure that movie show, season four, just came out a couple days ago. Going in with the Maybelline Gel um, Pencil Liner. I actually really like this. It's very, very black. However, it doesn't last that long in the waterline, but it's so black and creamy. If you're looking for a drugstore really black creamy liner, it's fantastic. And going in with a little bit of this shade here called Vintage, I am smudging that on the lower lash line, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of Americano and smudge it too. Let's all take a moment to look at how ridiculous my face looks right now. There's no what cute way to do this under eye without making your face look crazy. Um, I'm just blending that out now with a combination of uh, Tuscan Sun and Tiki Hut. And now we're gonna move to our liner. I'm just using the Sephora Waterproof Liner. I actually really like it. And just doing a very simple, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy wing. Nothing too fancy or too difficult. Now we're gonna pop on my favorite brand of lashes, Esquito. These are the Stephanie lashes. I love these. I recently just did a Little Mermaid 
photo shoot. It's like a modern day Disney, and these were the lashes I wore, and I love them. Uh, this is Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I'm really loving this mascara as well. But these Esquito lashes with their glue is just, oh, they're just so beautiful and they really last a long time. And I honestly, they're the only lashes I continue to repurchase and the only ones I wanna wear. Cause they're just, oh, they're so pretty. These ones I think are, like I said, the Stephanie lash. I do have a 15% off discount code for you below. If you guys are interested in getting some lashes, I would definitely recommend these ones. And a little bit of the full exposure on my lower lash line. And I think my lashes stuck together a little bit. So we were just kind of like working on getting that glue out of there. Next, we're going to go in with Voltage. This is a really beautiful alternative to um, Nylon by MAC. It's a yellow toned, but very like highlighted and ba-bam color. And I loved popping this on my lower lash line, but not like right in the inner corner, more along the lower lash line inner corner, if you know what I'm saying. Next, a little bit of champagne pop from Becca and Jaclyn Hill. This is the brush from the Pat McGrath highlight kit. I love the combination of these two together. And I just have been digging this highlighter lately, even though mine smashed and cracked into a thousand pieces. And yeah, it's beautiful. And now we're gonna go in with my favorite lip combination that I cannot stop wearing, which is the Oh Snap lip liner from ColourPop. And then the MAC Cream in Your Coffee lipstick this combination you guys you have to try it. if you don't have this mac lipstick you are missing out i never hear anyone talk about it and it's honestly the best color ever it's that perfect everyday lip oh, see look how pretty that is isn't that beautiful i just absolutely love that lip combination and that is the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed bye all right, guys, so that is the finished tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to follow me on any of my other social media, I have Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all Shades of Cassie. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.